Hey, I'm, I'm mic'd up. Okay. Well, that microphone had better pick up you popping somebody today. Hell yeah. <laughs> As training camp nears a close, the Panthers have visitors. The Bills roll into Spartanburg for a pair of joint practices. Friendly but needed competition before players pack up. Days in the South Carolina sun and long nights away from families have finally come to an end. The Panthers are heading home. I ain't smiled all camp. We happy now. Uh, <laughs> Wofford. Wofford, we done with you. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Definitely excited to be back home. Definitely excited to sleep in my own bed again. Nothing like it. It's actually going to be Kyle Allen who is going to get the start tonight. Allen, Elijah Holyfield, and Ross Cocker have given an all-access pass to their journey to make this final roster for a feature called Fight for the 53. And for Kyle, he gets another opportunity tonight. With Cam Newton again getting a game off, Kyle Allen gets his second straight preseason start. Last week, decent numbers. I felt like he did a really good job of operating the offense. He knew what he was doing, and he did a really nice job of working the ball around the field. He was efficient last week against the Bears. This week is different. Fastball to the 50. Samuel couldn't hang on. You had a wide open Curtis Samuel. That's on the quarterback. That was a missed opportunity right there. On third and six. Ball batted down at the line of scrimmage. Three and out. You've got to get the Curtis. Yeah, and then, and then that's when you had the pressure, right? A little slow start, but they're trying to get some momentum going. Al Allen back to pass. Curtis Samuel for the first down. Nice out route, nice ball, nice catch by Curtis. The line fan back to pass block. Almost a spectacular grab. Allen struggles to get in a rhythm and connects on just four of his 11 passes. Heading into the second half of the preseason, the backup quarterback spot remains very much up for grabs. You know, I'm a little disappointed in today. I think we were a little rough on the execution. That starts with me. And I really wanted to move the ball down the field a couple times in those drives we had the, with the ones, especially in their first playing time and get the ball in the end zone. So, you know, I'm a little disappointed we didn't do that well, and that starts with me. After his bounce back performance in Chicago, Elijah Holyfield has to wait his turn this time. The undrafted rookie doesn't touch the field until late into the second quarter. Damn, boy. All right, play. I'm getting bored. Someone's hanging on you, two, three guys. Can you carry that pile? And Holyfield said, yes, I can. Even then, playing time is sparse. Hey, they want one more series, okay? okay. Then you're in. <laughs> Holyfield finishes his night with 24 yards on six touches. But making the roster means making an impact whenever you're out there. You made a special teams play yet? I haven't been out there yet. <laughs> Blind me, I'm tackling so long. Okay. It was just me and him. Well, I thought about getting my ass shook. Yeah, no. Holy, I was scared. Woo, hell yeah, bro. For Ross Cockrell, a tackle isn't just about making the team. It's another sign that he's truly back. Early in the second quarter, he finally gets one. His first in a year and a half. Okay, but just be ready for them trying to take a shot. You know, right off the bat, okay? Just be ready. Cockrell winds up with two tackles and provides solid coverage downfield. His stock as a backup in the secondary continues to rise. the result was a little bit better for us but there's nothing like the home feeling after the game those are all the feelings that you just miss over the course of a year 
And I think the overall takeaway for me is I can do this. I can do this at a high level like I did before. I just want to be one of those guys, you know, that was never outworked. One of those guys, a hard punisher running back, that was, that's also a complete back and just a, just a guy that, you know, that changes the environment of a team. And then uh, eventually hope to hear some good news on August 30th. With training camp and two preseason games down, the jockeying for roster spots will continue over the next 12 days, leading up to the August 30th cut day. Then, and only then, will we know whose fight was worthy of the 53.